Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're going to talk about transitioning to the net after your return and how to hit solid volleys. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you could be notified every time that we release a new video. Let's jump right in. All right, so thanks for joining us in this video. Um, this video, idea was actually i actually thought of the other day because it's something that i'm trying to change in my game and hopefully it will help you out as well i see this in the beginner levels all the way up to the intermediate and advanced levels so i know that this is a problem that people struggle with and hopefully you can correct this and make it better but uh, this scenario i'm talking about is when you are returning uh, when you're the returning team and you hit that return and you're trying to make it all the way up to the non-volley zone line, uh, but, but sometimes if your opponent's serve is, is really good or let's say you hit a very short return, their option is uh, they're probably going to drive that ball. If they have a short return, especially off a, a good serve, they're probably gonna drive their third shot. And a lot of times I find myself, I'm trying to get to that non-volley zone line, but I'm getting caught um, around this transitional area and as I hit that volley, I, I'm not stopping. I don't split that. I'm, tr I'm trying to get to that non-volley zone even though they're striking that ball uh, when I'm in this transitional area. So let me just kind of show you first of how not to do it. All right, so like you see in these examples here, you see me hit that return, and I'm, as I'm transitioning into the non-volley zone, I don't uh, stop. I actually am hitting the ball and moving at the same time, and actually my paddle angle could change because I'm trying to, you know, my feet aren't set, I'm not in good position, and I'm trying to volley that ball as I'm coming to the non-volley zone, okay? Already my sh return was short, and he's winding up for his third shot drive. And instead of that, I really want to uh, split step, have my feet under me, my, uh, my weight on the balls on my, on my feet, and then hit that solid volley and then proceed to the non-volley zone line. So the correct way to do it, I'm gonna try to show you now, is uh, we really wanna be stopped, even though my return is short, I know he's gonna drive that ball, Yes, I want to be all the way to the non-volley zone, but sometimes I just can't make it up. And it's actually better for me to be stopped uh, in a balanced, ready position, hit that volley, and then proceed to the non-volley zone line. Okay, here we go. Okay, so just like that, I'm trying to set my feet. Right, right when he's about to rip that ball, that third shot drive, I already knew my, my return was short. Right when he's about to hit it, I'm gonna stop and get ready for that, for that drive and hit a solid volley. All right, so hopefully you, you've seen in those examples that I'm not running through that ball. It's really important to really stop, make sure you're balanced, hit that volley, and then proceed to the non-volley zone line, okay? Yes, our goal after that return is to make it up and rush to that net, but if, they just hit it, if they're hitting that ball before you could get it all the way up to that non-volley zone line, just set, set your feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Um, you do a little hop like this and then so you can be ready for that drive and if they if they hit that hard or soft you can be ready for that ball all right so hopefully this helps you out um, go out there and practice and thanks for joining us in this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a like thanks so much for watching for more free video lessons please visit primetimepickleball.com but before you head on over there Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, 
for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.